From our side, thank you very much, Colonel. Colonel, it's it. Uh, there's nothing anymore. I'm satisfied. It just appears for me as a third party, and I don't know if you agree with me, as well, but it's very... I, I, I really agree with you. Uh, the, the procedure was not, was not followed uh, correctly. If the High Court agrees with you, but uh, I uh, thought... In a I, must I've got the uh, MDC in, in my, 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 my office. I can go and, mm -hmm. and give it to Piri so that his, his, his defense can follow the MDC. How does we work in the military? Even in the old MDC, which stated other things before, Yes. I still have it. I must, I must just, uh, sorry to say, I must just thank you, my fellow officers. I really thank you for giving yourself time uh, as well as uh, my, the, 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 the officer holding the camera here to come here because I thought it's important for me to give my side of the story about this because, because they are in, with my employer now. And they're gonna, if I don't say anything about it, people will think I don't have anything. I just want to quickly conclude this with, uh, I won't read this thing, I just read my, my, my what you call my, my, my witnesses here. Um, like I read earlier on about uh, General Hadebe, Rebecca Hadebe is one of my witnesses. She will answer on the charge of the 6th. She answers on the charge of the 7th, rather, of March of AWOL or Absolute Parade. Then I've got Colonel uh, T.T. Kundu who answers on the charge of the 6th now for being absent in place of parade that I was present. And I've got also Colonel, full Colonel again, MF, Mike Fox for the debate. So I think she's the defense intelligence yeah, now. She's, she's, yeah. these, these are Sona Fidavits. Uh, but uh, for the first time you watch this video, you see I've got witnesses. But I didn't want to take, and I still don't want to take them to the military court because I'll be blessing a flawed procedure. That even though I can, that I own or I might own a hammer, you know, a car designed to take potholes, doesn't mean I must allow the road uh, to my garage to be full of potholes to prove my hammer. I'm, I'm well equipped for the trial, but I need that potholes. And I'm returning to the High Court to request that actually these charges should be thrown out. Yeah, because now if the, if the, 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 the case is at the High Court, you cannot reverse it to the military court. It's junior to the High Court. Thank you. Yeah. It says, and, yeah, as I said, Colonel, it just, it just appears that a lot of things at the school, um, in terms of military, the military way of doing it, were not correct. Um, that is that is one of the things that 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 we was a politicized as, as, unit. Yeah, um, I mean. Proper office bearing is one of the basics that should happen to an officer. It is one of the one of the essential things. Um, saluting officers, irrespective of whether one likes them or not, mm. is irrelevant. One shows respect to mm. an officer. Mm. Um, the tension between the students, are, as I could see, reasons for that actually having 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 happened as well. Mm. And that is as a complete third party. I have not read your statements. I have not seen any any of your witnesses. This is just totally as a as a third party. The last thing, uh, uh, back, the last thing, Manya, that I, I want to understand on this uh, document of statement, there's somebody Mafa who said on that Thursday morning, Lieutenant Colonel Peel gave me an envelope to take it to Colonel Tros. Went to Colonel Tros office, but. Uh, but the colonel was not there. I then gave the envelope to the secretary, Mrs. Swift, and the envelope was, was behind it in before it took to go to the trust. What the envelope was there? That is the envelope now where I've got a charge that, uh, I think there's a charge that says I was ordered to proffer some document which I did not. So uh, basically, way uh, is the envelope con containing now those documents that were supposed to be handed to Colonel, Colonel Trust. Yes, that he said to me, I must explain myself uh, if I remember well what happened with me and Kenneth Clay Nance the month before and also explain myself where I had been the previous day. I think those were the queries that he said I must put in black and white, he had said the previous day and bring in the morning uh, before 8 o'clock. Now, the, 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 those, those, the statement was, was, was given in by, that inside, was inside that statement that was given in to the Senate. Yes. So G G G General Dross received that document for, but for some reason. Uh, sorry about the language, but he cooked up a charge that I didn't. Because the assumption was that I had given the statement only to uh, Colonel Raymond, who was part of the collaborators, to charge me. So they assumed 
I had never seen through them that it might be they will deny. So I gave it to two people. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> for me, it, it, it is very much uh, ridiculous that there's a charge that you you, you never uh, 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 gave in those, those uh, statements that you have to give. Yes. Uh, I think that is charge. I'm trying to the, find it. I think zero they eight, no, charge uh, number six. Yeah. Charge number six. Yes. Yeah. Under the nation of 19 Yes. Yeah. But now, when I read the statement here yeah, from this guy, it is because it's because General Trust, I believe, said with Kenny Raymond Lindsay, all trying to defend the major now because General Bobelo's corruption with Raymond Lindsay, they decided you must deny that Piri gave you this document. But the J. Cole Mesco that I have, I had already seen who is on my side. I gave him. I also went and gave Mafa. And how could the Secretary of General Trust? just make a document disappear. That poor lady gave it to, to what to call, to General Trust. But it, that shows that the charges against me are fabricated. Nah, and, 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 and not to be not to be disrespectful, but that is how uh, Colonel Trust is now Brigadier General Trust. That is how Brigadier General IG Mashuala, the IG was a Brigadier now is a Major General because they protected people who are related to our President X Mandela. And therefore we are not going to be having an army. Maybe we should allow the Mandela relatives to, to be soldiers only. Because now you cannot take on a lieutenant being a captain who is doing wrong if the lieutenant is related to the big people. That is the center and kernel of the whole problem. Thank you once again. Thanks, Manyana. Thank you, Colonel. We wish you luck. Thank you. At some stage, one does need to conclude a job. And I remember the words said by um, one man, a woman in antiquity. A picture s says a thousand words. I thought I might uh, turn around with uh, some pictures that I can find around of some important people in my narration. This is the woman, as per my uh, way of seeing it, who caused me to be charged. This is uh, Brigadier General Ntombi Zodwa Wini Bobelezini, former major when I was charged about 10 years ago. My uh, identification of these pictures, anything to go by. It's a function that was attended with the Deputy Minister of Defense and Veterans Affairs with other VIPs. I just got this picture uh, just to identify uh, a thing or two about her. Just in passing, I've seen other interesting pictures on this uh, magazine online and I thought I could just mention him, by the way, he's not one of the main players in the case but still somebody worth mentioning. When I first uh, started working in the Department of Defense in 1998, this is the man who was my uh, uh, general officer commanding. He's an ex-Transkai uh, Defense Force uh, uh, Remember now the uh, Lieutenant G General Mkwebi, the Chief Human Resource of the Department of Defense. He knows me personally and he knows uh, as from his own unit which used to be in Nelspreet where I used to work under him directly under Colonel Kotze was my senior staff officer while I was still um, an SO1 that I was uh, being um, you know unfairly hunted if you like by the right wing uh, trying to force to charge me in 1999. And um, Colonel Kotze came to my rescue to explain that I'm just a victim of some bad elements. What is interesting now is that uh, when the um, commotion, if you like, of the Army College happened in 2001, this is the man who was sent, I'm told, by the Chief of the Army, General Romano, to come and explain to us students uh, how the entire matter was resolved and he came and greeted me and I saluted him accordingly but he never told me in person what detail was there in you know in store for me to be charged as it were um, Wes he then went ahead to take them the member who was uh, uh, sleeping around at the college Bobelo you've just seen a picture of her prior and um, and, and took her along uh, during his deployment I think in Burundi and um, I don't know what took place there, I wasn't there, but the reports I got is that uh, uh, Major then uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bobelo uh, had a very bad practice in Burundi where uh, she was working directly under the, the general 
as a, he's a intelligence officer and um, it was very unbecoming she would hang her lingerie around uh, at the headquarters of the general and the junior officers who saw this imagined that she was actually sleeping around as to with whom uh, around the general's headquarters it was anybody's guess i just thought it's important to mention this general mkwebe knows me personally he clicks his computer every, every so often and he sees that since i uh, integrated in the sndf 11 years ago or 12 from 98 i have never got a promotion it doesn't bother him doesn't bother him either that I'm presumed guilty when I'm still innocent. I'm even not allowed to continue courses. Thought I should mention something about the gentleman that I see. And I had no reason to think otherwise insofar as it is in the is concerned. But of late, I've come to revise a lot of things about so many people. He's of ex uh, Transkai, ex Tembu clan, where Mandela comes from. This is a very important person. This is my Minister of Defense, Lindy Wengonai Basisulu. And um, I've got so much to say about it. There's a number of issues. Um, uh, some documents that she's well aware of and uh, for some reason um, has decided to just pretend uh, there's no issue about Colonel Piri and um, it's very sad. She cannot in the future or even now claim that she was not aware of Piri. I'll try to get some photos of documents that she personally received in this matter and um, decided not to do anything about it. I'm going to be going to court next month at the beginning of November uh, against the lady um, as my minister um, where she's appealing that all the uh, prayers I presented to the High Court uh, about her office uh, according to her version are false. So basically, that is the person I'm standing against now on the issue of uh, uh, the false charges uh, charges that were meted against me in uh, 2001. I just could just mention that the issue of tribalism is very important here now because you find that the trans guy, which is a, 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 a what you call a, a Bantustan that was uh, the first Bantustan ever formed in South Africa for as part of the Grand Apartheid, is a, basically a, 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 a what call a an area inhabited mainly by the Tembu clan of Nelson Mandela, and this is where uh, her ethnicity paternally comes from. Her father is uh, Walter Uliate Sisulu, who was a Tembu by tribe in terms of her mother, and uh, my people might know that on terms, in terms of the father he was of British stock, so you got um, a, a product of British and Tembu stock at least. 25% what you see here and I'm just getting the feeling that she's not ready to help me because she wants to protect the legacy of Nelson Mandela and her and his extended relatives like Bobelo who must rule the military um, you know even through crime and uh, as if the Tembu clan or the Tembu nation is the only one with royalty I've also got royal uh, connections why must it be that we must be treated uh, in terms of uh, one particular tribe when we are actually uh, from uh, different ethnic groupings that's my minister to be honest i have no faith she wants to help me she has proved several times under summonses by the human rights commission in Joburg. she just ignored them for according to the Gauteng manager of that commission and i even went to the public protector and i do not think the public protector as i will show with the letter later on could have made a pronouncement without making some you know uh, waves or telltale signs with the department that Peter was an agreed man for 12 solid years no promotion no courses to write home about particularly after the charges and here comes a minister who knew about the charges as early as around 2003 because then she was um, a minister of intelligence and i wrote a letter to make her know nothing happening uh, mandelocracy in south africa